guys welcome back to my channel tiff with the t here before we get into this video make sure that you give me a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel drop me a comment and let me know what part of the world you're watching from it would really make my day if you did that i post videos on my channel minimum of three times a week so definitely subscribe if you like this content so i found this clip of a lady online who is an advocate for canceling Kevin Samuels. Apparently there's a petition that has been going around where people are trying to sign to get Kevin Samuels canceled on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so we're just gonna take a look at that clip and I'm gonna read this lady for filth, okay? <laughs> I heard something in the media, they're talking about signing a petition against Kevin Samuels. The community is is, is uh, ladies, women are getting together and they're they're talking about how abusive he is. They say he's no different than some other leaders that had the platform and they had to discontinue a particular leader because he was promoting violence, you know. And uh, they're saying that he's promoting violence against women, uh, telling uh, the women that they need some domestic discipline and. You know, you may say that in your circle or in your home or whatever's going on, but you, when you start dealing with the public and the community, you got to be careful of things like that when you start promoting violence against people, you know, uh, because if you got a big platform and people are following you, people start to, if they think, have that same mindset or if they're abusive already, they, they, they become violent and they, uh, uh, eject, uh, inject, uh, is that the right word? Uh, that energy towards women, you know. I do believe that a lot of women are having issues in their relationships. First of all, domestic discipline is not the same as violence. Um, when Kevin Samuels talks about domestic discipline, He's not talking about disciplining your woman and putting the paws on her. There's literally a misinterpretation of the vocabulary. Clearly, Auntie is misinformed about what it is that Kevin Samuel does, what his message is. And I feel like there's a lot of misinformation swirling around out there. She's promoting lies. Kevin Samuel has never once said that you should be abusive. I don't, where are you getting this nonsense? The problem is that these women are repeating things that they've heard from their circle of girlfriends or from a social media platform and running with it. And they're trying to push this misinformation as fact. My guess is this lady has probably never watched more than a couple of minutes of a Kevin Samuel consultation. Um, and ignorance breeds this type of mindset. That you can just press record on your phone and start saying anything you want to say does not mean that it's the truth. And women need to be doing their research before they just open their mouth to say anything. This petition that's been swirling around online, this isn't the first time that I've heard of it. Women and some men are wanting Kevin Samuels canceled because why? Because he's telling women the harsh truth and they can't take it? That means he's violent? This is outlandish that this is the world we live in. People so much want to reject the truth that they're willing to cancel somebody so that they don't have to hear it. They're really trying to silence this man's voice because they can't accept the truth for what it is. Healing and progress cannot come if you're not willing to listen to the message, if you're not willing to receive uh, what's going on. And I've been, I've been saying this over and over again. I feel like people automatically reject Kevin Samuels because he, because of his harsh, no nonsense approach somebody told me the other day one of my subscribers or uh somebody was watching my video and they left a comment that we can't expect kevin samuels to express himself to accommodate women he's a man he's going to express himself as a man 
and he has the right to do that if you don't like it then you don't have to subscribe to his his channel you don't have to subscribe to the information that he's trying to give simple as that so when you get those the large uh, platform I mean when you get a platform like Kevin Samuels has and he have a, 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 a huge following and when you spew violence and, 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 and uh, things like that against women uh, that can be detrimental okay that can be detrimental so the public is coming together when I say the public the women uh, men too because a lot of real men they don't they don't tolerate that kind of stuff they don't you know they see women as being beautiful you know people have their own way of doing things you know uh, and if you don't like maybe you may not like the way the woman probably approach a woman you may not like the fact that she turned you down and you, you know that you go find someone else but you don't try to uh, persuade a, a, a large nation of people and to promote violence because that can be you see what happened at the, at the Capitol right so I'm just saying violence is not a good thing don't don't promote violence because your words can be like like the Bible said like a two-edged sword so when you you spew language like that and you got people following you got people that looking up to him and, and, and for advice and your advice is to to beat women and, and calling women you fat shaming them and calling them ugly and, 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 and criticizing them every which way you can then that is uh, something that's questionable and something that the uh, 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 what you call it um, the media uh, a, a group of uh, people are looking into you can't do that that's why they have policies on things you gotta follow certain rules she said a couple of things here that he spews violence and that it's detrimental to the community which I thought that was ironic because one not only is she lying about how he's spewing violence everywhere that's how I know she hasn't actually watched any of his content for herself because she wouldn't be saying that if she had because nowhere in his content has he advocated for violence that's that's a falsehood i don't know why she keeps saying it it's super annoying she obviously has not educated herself on this topic it's ironic that she's saying that kevin samuels is detrimental to the community however it's this type of group think that's actually threatening our community uh we get this little bit of information about somebody and then you just run with it and then you start spreading lies falsehoods straight up fiction you're spreading it from person to person who knows how many people are watching this lady and they're going to now regurgitate this nonsense that she's that she's saying equating what kevin samuels is doing to the capital riots <laughs> wow this kind of stuff is mind boggling to me that this woman actually believes the things that she's saying is beyond me this lady reminds me of that auntie that everybody has in their family who has been dating uncle fred for the past 15 20 years but they've never made it official they still call each other boyfriend and girlfriend she reminds me of that type of woman uncle fred and her have been together for the past like i said They've been rocking with each other for years and years and years, but he never made it official. He probably messes around on her. They ain't got no kids together, but he got 50, 11 kids by somebody else that she's helping to raise. And these are the type of women we're referring to when we say misery loves company. This is the type of woman that you should avoid at all costs. Ladies, if you see this type of woman, you should avoid her at all costs because she's going to keep you from the truth. She's going to keep you down with her lies, her confusion, her nonsense, her falsehoods. That's the type of person that this is. This is the type of person who she don't need to hear anything else. She knows it all based off of a little bit of information these women really want you to protect their feelings at all costs these women really want you to believe that kevin samuels is out here calling people fat saying that they're ugly i've never once 
heard Kevin Samuels say that a woman was ugly or say that a woman was fat. He has told overweight women that they do need to lose weight to raise their market value in the dating world. He has told women to be realistic about how they see themselves. Um, he's never once said that, oh, you're ugly or oh, you're fat. He's never said that. And if you watch any of his videos, you would know that. Ma'am, the promotion of misinformation is just as toxic as the promotion of violence. Not that Kevin Samuels promotes violence because he does not in any way, shape, or form. People need to realize that you can't just say anything that you want about something or someone and there not be consequences to that especially when the information is wrong especially when the information is uh meant to cancel somebody as long as kevin samuels is kevin samuels he's going to have people that hate him he's going to have people that are trying to silence him but the truth is every single leader that has been an advocate for change has faced some sort of backlash. If you look at the greatest leaders in our history, whether it's Martin Luther King Jr., Barack Obama, Tupac Shakur, Public Enemy, whoever is going to be a voice for change is also going to be the target of immense criticism and backlash. It's just, it's just, it's crazy. It is nonsense promoting violence against women that's nonsense people don't like change they don't like the truth they get comfortable in their dirty nasty ways they get comfortable with being lazy they get comfortable with making excuses with looking the other way with all these terrible things and then when somebody comes along and says hey that's actually not the way it's supposed to be did you know that this is not normal then they want to cancel that person. They want them to be silent. That's the real nonsense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.